Hey there, I'm Mac Austin. I want to tell you a little bit about this workbench. I just finished it a couple of weeks ago. Um, it follows Will Myers' uh, Moravian workbench uh, interpretation that he's been blogging about and teaching for a few years now. Um, so in this video, I just want to give you an overview of the workbench and some of its features. So if you're not familiar with this uh, basic design, a little overview is that there's a historical site in Western North Carolina called Old Salem. Uh, they have a mid 18th century Moravian workbench that's portable. Uh, and a guy named Will Myers uh, studied that workbench and reproduced it with some modern modifications to it. And he blogged about it on uh, wkfinetools.com. A link is in the description. Uh, he also created uh, an instructional video with uh, woodandshop.com, uh, it's available there. Um, and uh, basically, uh, the major components of this workbench, the top, the tool tray, uh, the long stretchers, the vise, and the leg trestles all um, can, can come apart. Uh, making it portable, but when everything is together, it's extremely rigid, um, it's very stable, and it's heavy enough for uh, hand tool woodworking. Top is made of white ash uh, from eight quarter lumber that I, I found locally, uh, ripped to width, turned up, and laminated. Um, so we have a final finish thickness of about three and three quarters, and a final uh, finish depth of about 15 and three quarters uh, inches, which is a little bit thicker and a little bit uh, more depth than what Will had in his version. Uh, the top ooh, is its own piece. Uh, so this can come off and uh, be separated from the bench for, um, for moving it. Our primary work holding uh, device on this bench is this awesome face vise. Um, chop is also uh, white ash. It's got um, maple handle and screw. Uh, the screw and nut come from Lake Erie um, Toolworks, which uh, make fantastic uh, wooden screws. Um, Vice works great. It's got a white oak garter. holds things in place. We've got a, a white oak parallel guide, uh, and all of that goes into this back piece. If I turn the top up, you can see this back piece just comes right out. It fits into this uh, mortise down here, and has a corresponding mortise for the nut in the leg which keeps things from moving. And once it's in place, holds like a charm. Here you have a tenon that fits into a mortise in the top. Now another work holding apparatus that we have on this bench is a wagon vise. Um, and Will Myers actually has this uh, fabricated in small batches and you can uh, buy it through him, which is, is where I got this one. Um, so we've got a hickory dog that can be uh, pushed down below the bench top um, or pushed up. A series of dog holes along the edge of the bench. Um, so we can place a board in between these two dogs and turn the hand wheel to uh, clamp the board down for planing um, in any direction across the grain with the grain. Uh, this is a, a fantastic um, vice to have and it allows you to use uh, fenced planes because it's so close to the edge of the, the workbench, things like plow planes. Um, so it's great for that. There's a tool tray here on the, the back of the bench which brings the, the depth of the bench to about 24 inches. Um, and uh, this tool tray is a really nice thing to have in my opinion um, because I like to keep my tools close at hand um, but want them to be beneath the surface uh, and protected from rolling off of the bench. So this is a really nice thing to have um, for the way I work anyway. Uh, it's just dovetailed uh, red oak with a white pine floor on it. Um, this also, of course, separates from the bench by pulling up on it from here. Um, and you'll see that uh, it has these 
um, little blocks that um, both secure it in this direction because it's hitting against the, the short stretcher here. And then also as it slides in and locks down in place, it then has very limited movement in this direction uh, and of course in this direction against the bench top. So it's pretty secure, but it's very easy to take off. So um, when this thing fills up with shavings and I want to get rid of the, the dust and, and shavings, I just pop it up and shake it out a little bit. I did add a shelf on the bottom, um, which is really handy. Uh, it's where I keep my uh, bench appliances, like my um, bench hooks for sawing and my shooting board. Um, and this was a really, really simple addition. Uh, this is just tongue and groove pine board that you can buy at uh, the big box home centers. Um, and then there are uh, two cleats that I just uh, nailed on actually. Um, so this also easily uh, comes out and can be added back in. All right, I've taken the, the top off, the tool tray, the face vise, and the shelf so we can get a better look at these uh, leg assemblies and stretchers. We have three short stretchers here, all of which are, are white ash uh, going into these uh, southern yellow pine legs. And each of the three um, stretchers has different joinery. Um, up here we have um, a bridle joint. So this stretcher, you get the white oak surface area, the full width of the bench, and this bears uh, the load of the top and the tool tray. It's got these uh, dowels in it, which um, serve to align the top and keep it in place. Uh, down here, we have a standard uh, mortise and tenon, uh, through mortise and tenon joint. Um, and both of these are, are pegged with uh, white ash dowels as well. Um, down here we have what, what I guess is a half lap um, dovetail, which gives a really nice uh, visual feature to the bench. I like that a lot. Um, but really the bread and butter to this whole thing, what really makes this all work is the way that these uh, long stretchers um, work with the leg assembly. So we have a through mortise and tenon with uh, this uh, tusk that tightens everything up. The legs are actually at 16 degrees, which is, is one of the visually striking things about this bench. Uh, and I think also having used it for, for a little bit, uh, that, that helps a lot with the, the rigidity and the resistance to any kind of movement um, when you're planing. Uh, but these tusks come out with a, you know, a, a swift tap of the mallet these are just white oak keys um, that drop into these mortises and it doesn't take a lot. Tap them into place uh, and they pull the shoulder of this um, tenon right up against the leg and lock it in place. And it's absolutely the key to what makes this bench work. It's what allows it to be portable uh, but also allows it to be entirely functional for hand tool use. All right, so that's, uh, that's basically the workbench. Um, I think it's really great. It follows the Will Myers blueprint uh, for the most part, uh, a couple of exceptions in terms of materials. The top's a little thicker. Uh, it's a little bit more, more depth to the top. Uh, the tool tray is a little bit narrower. It's got a shelf. Uh, a couple other things, but basically um, follows his plan. Uh, Will has done just a tremendous job of, of putting it together and doing his homework. Uh, he's a great teacher. Um, so if you work with hand tools and you want a bench that um, you can move from time to time, I'm not sure there's a better design out there. Uh, I'm incredibly happy with it. So uh, thanks for watching.